Hi there, my name is Ed Cawthorn and I'm a computer science instructor at the Manchester Community College in Manchester, New Hampshire. And I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to talk about what happens when you compile a program. Anytime you write a program, it's done in a .txt file. All higher level languages work through a .txt file. It doesn't matter what language it is, it, it's ultimately dumped into a text file. This text file is also known as a source file. The source file is run through a compiler. source code into a running That's all a compiler does. It is a program that reads your source code and converts it into a running program. Compiling is a two-pass process. Pass one checks the syntax. As you know, one of the biggest problems is syntactual errors. Somebody forgets to leave off a, a semicolon, they put a comma in the wrong place, they have mismatched quotes. These are syntax errors. If it passes the syntax check, then and only then does it move on to creating the object code. Object code is the for first step toward creating a running program. If you look at it this way, here's your source code. Here's your compiler. Your compiler dumps out object code. Object code directly interacts with the machine. Object code is not machine code. Object code is read by machine code and performs the action set up through machine language calls. The second pass of the compiler looks for several different things, but two of the most important things it looks for are directives and commands. Commands tell the computer what to do with data. Commands most often directly interact with data. Directives instruct the compiler to set aside space and memory for data or processes. Command example, system out print line. This is in Java. It prints out the word cat. Directives are words like using, import, double, integer, string. Directives set aside memory for use. Memory can be viewed as a heap. Basically, memory is a pile like this. It's just a non descriptive pile of data. It's, it's bits and bytes that are just gathered up and placed there. That's memory. There's really no definition to a heap. Heaps grow, heaps shrink. When a directive is read by the compiler, it sets aside a location in the heap for that object. This is called object instantiation. When a directive is read, such as int dog, the first thing the compiler does is it goes out and grabs a spot in memory, gives it a name, and that's called instantiation. 
it makes sure that there's enough room in there for that word or for that object. That object now exists. Then adds the name of the object to a heap table. Memory is managed through a large table. This is an oversimplification of how memory is managed, but memory is managed like the index in a book. It's a large table with the name of the object, its size, where it's located, and that's basically and what type it is. And that's basically what the table looks like. So in this particular case it would be dog. Its size would be 8 bits. And where, where it's located in the table, I've forgotten the address I gave it, but it, the next slide will have the address on it. And the type is it's an integer. This table makes sure that the address of 1AF13 is married to the object dog and we will never see that space used for anything else.